Hello boys and girls, this is Danny Moncada, welcome back to my channel. Tonight we're going to be running Alan Wake 2. We're... And uh, this episode is powered to you by Sin City Tech. If you guys don't follow me yet, here are my handles. If you don't follow me, I'm going to fucking find you. So, that's a warning. And here we fucking go. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. Damn. This is really cool. Hey, what's up, story? Let's go. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. Damn. I'm getting 240 seconds frames per second. 240. That was a cool intro, huh? This guy's naked. <laughs> mm. Oh, guess I play now. Oh, that's so cool that you can go all the way around. That damn looks so spooky. Fuck. All right, so I can't go this way because there's water. So he probably came from there. Can't go that way because there's a lot of obstacles. Can't go that way. There's a lot of obstacles. So I think he go here. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt. Man, look like a boy ate a lot of burgers, huh? Come back. Hey, come back. Fuck. Ah, uh, shit. Uh, can't go this way. Can't go that way. Guess I go this way. Oh shit. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Oh. Oh shit, that's wild. I was getting flashbacks or something. Stream looking good, Stewie. Thank you, brother. I think it seems like I'm going the right path. There's like uh, an entrance to something. Damn. I really like the cinematics. Okay, so I could sprint. All right, I okay, guess so I run. Put a broken foot or something. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. What, what the fuck? Am I tripping? Oh, shit. <laughs> he was seeing something. 
Ah, uh, shit. Oh shit. Oh fuck that. Oh shit. Oh what do I go? What do I go? I... Oh no 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 go. That's it. Run. Run fool. Run. 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 Oh no 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 fight. No, no. Oh shit. Oh no, no. I I can't even fight him. Ugh. These graphics are so wild, man. Damn. Look at that. Wow. That was wild, guys. Give me one. Alan Wake 2. so much lately logan oh my god mom it's not your fault people get all murdery what <laughs> happened just work stuff right well dad and i are just watching the latest episode of night springs here mom it's so good no spoilers i'll let you get back to the show you were supposed to wait and watch with me i love you both this is what happens when you go on work trips mom Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan. Man. Bye, kiddo. This is pretty cool. What do you guys think so far? Drop it in the comments. Man, the graphics are wild. Yes, they are, sir. Logan yes, they are, Stewie. You try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. Man, this is, this is so cool. The... It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Feels like a movie, right? I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. <laughs> Think of me as the backup. Any hmm. words of advice? Hmm. Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Uh, that guy seems a little suspect. It it looks all real like a movie. Hey, <laughs> it looks like a movie, huh, bro? I'm telling you, man. So cool. That, oh, when did the first game came out? Our first game came out in 2010, I believe. All right. All right. What do we got here? Damn. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. Look There's at the fog, hair. So where's the deputy? Uh, Eaten by a bear. Let me go check, check real map. quick. Return one. 
invitation. Uh, get to the crime scene, find the deputy. So. Right, check the map. So we here. Where did the guy die? Here's our location. It was by the water, so it had to be like somewhere right here. Okay. You're the one who wanted to switch. I think I hear someone. I'm not walking all the way back. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. Here. Hey there, Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Raker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. Saga Anderson, I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Jeez. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Those damn show up, <laughs> that full agent's right here, Thornton. <laughs> My partner, Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. He's dumb. What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. <laughs> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. This is great acting, great dialogue. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. That we have anything against city folk, right, Thornton? <laughs> but don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. All right. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure. That's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store. You can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Hey, Mulligan, tell him I'm here, will you? I'll show him around. They got it, Thornton. Ah. Oh. My bad. There you go. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Hmm, <laughs> Thornton. The mind place. My version of the mind palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the mind place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. The facts uh, are on the board. The other FBI agent looks a little shifty. I, I thought I was the only one thinking that. Yeah, it looks a little shady. I know about the previous murders. It looks funny Let's style. Another look. Okay, so we got the Quadron Lake murders. We got the victims. All victims were reported missing in 2010. No commonalities. Ted Lane, dentist, stab wounds, bloating, bruising on the wrist. Wendy Davis, teacher, body bloated, large chest wound. Percy Wolf, store owner, bruising, heart removed, strange tattoos. Murder method. Slight difference in murders, bloating only commodities, bodies but not cause of death. Chest trauma. Exposed to water postmortem. Hmm. Bruising on the wrist and legs. Deep gash in the chest, heart missing. So we got this guy with the heart missing and we got the new guy 
with the heart missing. All bodies were, ex all bodies experienced bloating. Huh. Killer profile. Postmortem tattooing on the body. The murders have all, have no discernible common traits. Chest trauma resembles animal butchery techniques. All right. Shit. Let's see. Let's go to the cases real quick. Oh, right, come on, you can see the cases. Case board, we got the map. Go back to the crime scene. Map, we've already seen the map. Is there anything around here? Nope. Okay, let's go back over there. Already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Uh, he was a little too fast about that, right? Nature. He was a little too fast. I didn't know how to get down there. Like, there was no hesitation. He just turned around and started walking like he knew where he's going. Is he the murderer? Your hey, mother. Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. Hmm. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Yeah, it's true, Stu. It's like he walked that path before. Like, he's been here before. I don't know, man. I'm thinking these guys There's a route. have something to do with the murder. I'm not that old. I don't know, Casey. It's, it's giving me red flags. Ever since we were in the car together, we, because I am her. Man, but look at these cinematics, though. Look at the, the hair, the way it bounces. Look, he didn't even try to go this way. How come he didn't try to go that way? Nah. He looks a little suspect. The confidence that he has. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Look at the way he's walking, guys. He's just so much confidence. Like I know where I'm going. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. General store. Yes, Deputy sir. Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind this door. Come on, I'll show you. He looks freaking creepy, man. Behind this oh. door. FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO Which ladder, which hut? Those are real? You guys hiring? <laughs> Let's just see this body, shall we? This guy has jokes, man. Thornton. He's just not the brightest axe in the tool. Uh, we found him on the table. 
Well, he didn't touch nothing. You know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, deputy. No tarp. Shit. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Hmm. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Hmm. Let's go on the case board. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Hmm. Not a coincidence. Not a coincidence. Another body has been found in the woods near Bright Falls. Perfect timing. You need to see if this is linked to the killings. Where to investigate? To investigate. All right. Uh, objective. All right. Let's go to the cases. All right. Let's go. Let's go back. Should we go back to the lake or is there anything here that we need to check? Nope, 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 nope. No. We already seen the map. We don't need to see the map. Okay. I can collect the clues from the body. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Heart removed. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. Okay. Is that it? I mean, what about this shit? What about this, girl? What about this? Oh, what about the bruising right there, Saga? Okay, let's go plant these, I guess. Hmm. There. What about it? Keep trying. No. Okay. I guess you put them here. Oh, this slide. Okay. Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders, but this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. Hmm. This makes four murders that we know about. Are they sloppy or do they want to get caught? Murder matches. Murder patch, uh, matches previous cases but interrupted. May find some new leads this time. The victim. Okay. The ghost. Okay. Investigate the crime scene. Learn more about the victim. Learn more about the killer. All right. Let's go. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. <laughs> Sheesh. That looks crazy realistic. It does look so realistic, bro. Okay, so now we got to find a clue. Okay, there's something over there by the crime scene number two. Oh, never mind. There's something here. On the F. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Really? The victim died there. You really think they died there? <laughs> of course they did. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? She's saying that because of the footsteps. Look, guys. What about number three? I guess there's another footstep. Uh, huh. Okay. So we got beer. We got cigarettes. Got some uh, barbecue beef chips. Uh, what is this? A fucking assault rifle? Oh, looks like a tripod. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? Um, I I have no comment. I was gonna say something about it. <laughs> okay. Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here, waiting. Oh, they were just chilling. How come you don't say anything about the cigarettes, the ashtray, like any fingerprints? Like, 
ice chest. Check the ice chest. Maybe they have water. They want to stay hydrated. I don't fucking know. Shit. Okay, we're going to go to the case board again. So, the victim and the killers. That's okay. Multiples. Okay, so we're going to go back a little bit. And we're going to go here. Okay, multiple sets of footprints. That's got to be not the victim. It's got to be the killer or killer. There you go. Bingo. For later, okay. Heavy blood spatter on the table. That's got to be the victim. Right? The fuck? Ah, I guess it's the killers, right? Or Footprints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Multiple assailants percent present. Messy scene. Crime of passion. Pretty imitated. I don't know. I don't know. Let's look around to see if we find anything else. We already seen the. Oh shit. Mm. Why does it keep on? Uh, let me see. All right. All right. We're gonna leave. Let's go. Map. Nothing around here. No. Okay, let's go. Let's bounce. Okay, so what do we do now? Uh, let's see what else we got over here. Somewhere around here. Oh, it's a house. Let me see if we find any clues over here. Oh, okay. Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. If you're confused, follow the steps. Wash your hands. Take the kitchen out of the fridge. Take a nap. Okay, so. Ooh. I'm not even gonna mess with that. That looks like Illuminati shit. All right. I'm, nope. I'm out. Um. <laughs> How come there's no I mean that's not next to the crime scene, so I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. What is that? A creepy twit sculpture? Hmm. Huh? Ooh. You can activate the flashlight. Oh. I guess E. Okay, E. On the PC. Oh, another one. Okay, more beer. Oh, another one. Oh shit. Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Another one. Another one. God damn. What do we got here? Another one. It's out there. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Um, shit. Um, I guess we're done here. I don't see anything else. I was saying I went through here, went through here. Hmm. 
No, no. What the fuck? Is it moving? You guys see that shit moving? Whoa. It's not the same. No, this is creepy shit. I'm, I'm out of here. Fuck this. <laughs> But you're probably trained to joke about it, right? To deflect, hide the truth from the average Joe. Anderson. Hey, let's get back to work over here, can we? Yeah. Yeah, I needed to come back outside the story. Okay, uh, so... What now? I mean... Did I not find something? What are you looking at me for, fool? The fuck did I forget something? What happened? Are you looking around? Okay. Did I forget something at the house? I'm gonna go fast. Fuck this. I think I saw something. Oh. It'll only take a minute. Oh shit. Oh shit, right here. Oh, UFOs, huh? be the that might be the the thing for the lock that might be yeah that might be the thing to uh, I don't know is that a kid's lunchbox an Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crime books. But hmm. he really hates the movies. Alright. Gotta go back. Pistols. And again, hold up. Oh. Okay. Oh. Another headshot. Okay, cool. Nice. All right. Anything else here in the house? What if? This mug always cheers me up. Hmm. What the worst, man. Anything else here we need to see? Nope. Weapon upgrade. Uh, my place weapon upgrade. I get this one, whatever. Oh. Num weapon upgrade three. What does that mean? understand that whip 
Bring an upgrade. Yeah. Alright, cool. I'm just gonna bounce. Control goals. We already know about the killer. Guess I uh I go back I guess. Hi guys, I'm back. Welcome back, Anderson. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Discover speaking surrounding. Ah, where do we go from here? All right. So you knew our victim. Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. So what happened after he got fired? Oh. So what happened tonight again? After the bureau let him go. I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Hmm. Why were you hiding it, buddy? Why were you hiding it, Casey? Nightingale went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as all the other victims. No. Pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. Alan Wake 1 was released in 2010. I think that's everything. For now at least. Mm -hmm. Anything clicking yet? Not sure. <laughs> Let's think about it. That's a connection. Okay, I think uh, we're, we're done. Uh, what do you want to bounce or what? What's up? Want to go? What else is here? I had to review the clues. Case board. Oh. All right. So here we are again. Okay, so the victims and the killers. Casey. That deal went off to the deep end. FBI fired him. Oh, that's, that's kind of tricky. Um, Went off the deep end. Right, okay, so maybe the killer, right? Okay. The, not the killer, the victim. Burton. Victim is Robert Nightingale. Last seen Bright Falls 13 years ago when Alan Wake was first introduced. Robert FBI came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. So it's imitated or spontaneous. The cooler and the bottles near, near left by. It has to be the it has to be the killers. It don't <sighs> nami fool. Come on, I'm trying to help you over here, woman. 
Saga. Be patient. Tripod found near the body. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? <laughs> He's been missing for 13 years. Sounds like something why she was in the war. <laughs> yeah. Why now? Victim came from. Ooh. Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Using her intuition, Saga can discover new clues by profiling people's interests. Okay. Missing person. Ritual murder. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Oh, damn. Out from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there, too. says otherwise Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder hmm that's when he was running where he came out of in the beginning that's wild Nightingale was chosen as the victim why find the switch it goes click lights are off at somebody's home somebody's home this wasn't some <laughs> random act of violence this was a ritual, a nightingale, a component. They didn't see him as a person, more like a container for something. Damn, <laughs> that was pretty dark and crazy. Damn. That almost reminds me like that, the, the show that used to come out on um, NBC, uh, or CBS, it was called uh, the medium. She would have like special powers to be able to see the the murders that happened before and be able to see things. So that's pretty cool. All right, profiling here. Uh, have we seen this? Oh, okay, we haven't seen this. Miss you, kiddo. Oh. I'll be home soon. That's your daughter. Okay. What about this guy? Who do you guys think this guy is? If only the rest of the bureau knew what a softy case he is. Okay. So that's why they have they're cool. But I don't know, he just strikes me as a suspect kind of guy, man. He just sounds weird okay what is that dot over there oh the dot okay we're done so what are you looking at fool oh, i'm supposed to go back it's funny because when if, if i come here too soon look look they just look around like i need to go look for something so what am i looking for guys oh i guess i Go back to the head. The head game. The objective list. Okay, so let me go profile. Investigate the crime scene. Profile the victim. I already did that, right? So let me try to see if. We already checked the case board. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Nightingale came from Quad Down Lake. There you go. I can feel that Nightingale came from the lake. But why now? After 13 years. Where's he been? Hmm. Oh. Quad Down Lake murders. Alex Casey launch boxes.
Fourth case. Finding a Casey Moody lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. <gasps> Another uh. message. Ah, fucking Casey. Motherfucker. Launch box found near the campground. Okay. Thanks, Saga. And this is getting like all over the place now. Oof. Okay. Alright, I think uh, we've done my job here. Who left these? Alright. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey. Oh, shit, sorry. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay, well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. Where did he go? Oh, that fool's, he's like, he's too fast. This is one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From a lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. Hmm. The job is unfinished. And that seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? I haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. The hell is that? Me the creek. Lake. You need to get out more. It is kind of creepy though. Oh shit. Oh shit. There's a piece of paper on the ground. Tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. Makes no sense. Hmm. Oh, damn. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm hmm. Like a manuscript. A page of a story. Hmm. Killer left a message. Killer left a message. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, words. the words. These words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An invitation. How could they not accept? Even if they knew it would end up hurting them. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. Ah, uh, shit. I should profile Nightingale about this page. Oh, man, this is... Something else, okay. Page. A page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. 
the awful truth. He must dig it out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. Is uh <laughs> oh man, okay guys, so we are gonna leave it at this right here because the suspense is pretty cool. It's killing me right now. Um, and uh, if you guys wanna watch the second part, I'm gonna drop it. If you have any questions, drop some comments. If you haven't followed me, I'm up here. Instagram, X, TikTok, YouTube, Twitch. So do the damn thing, okay? Do the damn thing. But, yeah, Stewie, uh, thank you for stopping, bro, for always stopping and uh, joining and interacting with me. It's always cool to uh, have you here. Um, yeah, so this is going to be the stream for tonight, guys. Uh, this episode was powered to you by Sin City Tech, Alan Wake 2, Part 1. I'm going to be dropping a Part 2. And uh, that's it. GG's, guys. You guys have a good night. And stay safe. Buenas noches. Yeah, I speak Spanish. Huh. Should I... Drop an Alan Wake 2 in Spanish. If you guys want, hit your boy up. Hablo español. Hablo español muy bien. Hablo español más que inglés. Okay, so, pónganse las pilas. Díganme algo. Let me know something. All right. Buenas noches. Good night. Oh, you didn't stop the stream. Now stopping.